question for the qualification for the next two days. What was the difference between the today's game and the last one? I, I think we didn't play uh, two instructions. We made some mistakes, unnecessary mistakes, on the goals we have given them away. But if you get in a match like this, you get an early goal against them, against you, then it, it becomes always a very tough match. Then uh, in the second half, we have made some changes. We created some chances in the first half, but we didn't take it. In the second half, we created maybe two or three very good chances. We didn't take them. And now, yeah, you can be happy that they didn't score the third goal because they had that opportunity too. But in general, the match was not what I expected. Look, if, if, if you have the chance to qualify, then you have to go all out. And we have spoken about it. Look, they, there is no easy match. There is no easy match. And if you don't go all out, that means if you don't, cannot give in this kind of matches 100%, then you create a problem for your team. That is what I said. That is that has to do with the uh, character from players. We have made five changes. I think in the second half it was a bit better than in the first half. And in the first half we lost so many possession in the midfield and we didn't. If you don't close down an opponent who moves a lot when they have worked their hearts out, and then as op as a team as Singida, you have to do the same. And that was lacking today. The aggressiveness, I talk about positive aggressiveness, closing down the opponent, you let balls bounce and then you make it difficult. Every match is different. <laughs> Not every match is the same. Look, the Egyptians, they have a good team. That is what I hear. And uh, when you are a player and you play against that kind of teams, you have to give more. That is the most important thing. Two more questions. I'm not here to, to, to judge players us from, my, from our team. Look, <laughs> that is what I said. The team can play if they get time and space to play. And if you play more aggressive and you close down faster, you have to read the game situation very well. And that is what we didn't do well today. And that was the difference with last week. Yeah, sorry for the loss, that is what I can say, but to be very honest, I didn't expect this, that we uh, should lose with 2-0, because uh, we have a good team, but if you don't work hard enough, if you are not concentrated for 90 minutes and determined for 90 minutes, you in this kind of matches you have to focus for 90 minutes, and that we didn't do that. We didn't start it well. That is the point. Mkuu wa chuo kipya cha kisasa cha utangazaji na uandishi wa habari, Ujiji Broadcasting Academy, Uba, kilichopo Kigoma mjini, anawatangazia nafasi za masomo kwa kozi ya utangazaji wa redio na televisheni kwa ngazi ya certificate na diploma. Kwa mwaka wa masomo utakaoanza mwezi Septemba mwaka huo. Sifa za kujiunga huo umemaliza kidato cha nne na kupata ufaulu wa angalau D4 katika masomo yote isipokuwa masomo ya dini. Ada ni shilingi 1087500 tu kwa mwezi. Pia chuo kinatoa masomo ya muda mfupi kwa kozi kadhaa zikiwamo lugha ya Kiingereza, graphics and design, photo journalism and camera operation, video production, computer application, film production, full DJ, online and social media production, master of ceremony, yani MC. Sifa kwa kozi fupi ni kwa yeyote ile maliza kidato cha nne. Chuo kitafunguliwa tarehe mosi Septemba 2023 na mafunzo ya kompyuta na Kiingereza ni bure kwa watakaochukua fomu mapema. Pia chuo kinatoa huduma ya hostel bure kwa muda wote. Form za kujiunga zinapatikana chuoni kwa gharama shilingi 1015 tu. Chuo kipo Kigoma mjini kwenye jengo la shirika la nyumba NHC zilipo benki za NMB na Exim ghorofa ya tatu Kwa mawasiliano zaidi piga simu namba 0766866818 au 0758495726. Ujiji Broadcasting Academy Excellence is your signature. Jamani jamani mimi naitwa Chama Kletas Chota AK Triple C au Mamba wa Rusaka na mshauri wote kuhusu mambo ya mpira fuatilia Mpenja TV au subscribe YouTube Mpenja TV safi sana
Unajiuliza namna gani utapata taarifa za michezo zenye uhakika kwa timu zipendazo? Ni rahisi sana. Mpenja TV ipo kwa ajili ya kukupa matukio yote makubwa kutoka kwenye maeneo mbali mbali, mashabiki, wachezaji, viongozi wa michezo hapa ndio kwao. Sasa tembelea chaneli yetu ya YouTube kupitia simu yako au laptop andika Mpenja TV ukutana na taarifa kibao za uhakika kisha bofu ya subscribe uwe mwana familia na bofu ya alama kengele upate taarifa kila inapoingia na pia fuatilia updates za taarifa zetu kupitia Instagram kwa kuandika mpenja tv underscore mpenja tv tunazungumza michezo